Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. For today's recipe, what I'm going to share with you is how I make a creamy chicken noodle soup. Perfect for this cold weather that we have right now and real easy to make. You can make extra to freeze it and use it for a later date. That would be perfect. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Laura where I post cooking and baking videos at least twice a week. Right now I'm posting every day until the end of the year, so make sure you go and take a look at my older videos. I will have them linked below in the description box, along with the recipe and any items that I used for this recipe. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and go follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura, and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Most importantly, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Okay guys, let's get started. We are going to start the recipe by dicing up our vegetables. I have some carrots, some celery, and some potatoes. Make sure your vegetables are clean, disinfected, most importantly. I'm just going to fast forward through all of this stuff. I just wanted to show you how I cut the chicken. I will stop during that part of the video. Alrighty, now we got to the chicken. I have two chicken breasts. If you want to use chicken thighs, more flavor, that's fine. What I do is I leave it semi-frozen because it makes it easier for me to cut it the way I want it because I like it in very small pieces. See how easy you can just cut right into it? It's going to shrink some, so cut it into pieces about like that because of course it's going to shrink during the cooking process. Okay guys, we got all this cut up. I'm gonna pop you all over to the stove so we can get started. All right, we are going to start off by searing our chicken. We're gonna put about two tablespoons of olive oil or vegetable oil, whatever oil you like to use. This is already hot. I wanna get a quick sear on it. This recipe is actually pretty quick. I'm gonna throw my chicken in. And just leave it alone. We're gonna season it a little bit. We're going to put about a teaspoon of salt right now and some pepper. Lots of pepper. Okay, now that all the water has evaporated from the chicken, we're going to start adding in our vegetables. I forgot to show you at the start, I have some onion, diced onion as well with the carrots. We're going to put the carrots and the celery in first. And we're going to saute them. I'm going to put a little bit of salt for the vegetables, season and layers. This already smells good and it's not even soup yet. Okay, we're gonna let these cook down for about five minutes just to soften up the carrots just a little bit. Okay, now that this is cooked down just a little, I'm gonna add in some more seasoning. I am going to add some thyme, some dry thyme. I like to break it up in between my fingers. And some poultry seasoning. Gives it a lot of flavor. And the last thing we're going to add is some uh, consomme, some chicken bouillon. So you got to watch it with the salt. Don't over salt it because that bouillon has a lot of sodium. Now it really smells delicious with all this seasoning. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to add in some flour. We are going to add the flour so that it can thicken up our soup and that's going to make it real creamy once we add the heavy cream in there. So we're going to sprinkle it in. Just carefully. And now we're going to just bake it, cook it off. Get rid of that flour taste. Oh, that should be good. Now we're going to add our chicken broth. I have some uh, chicken stock that I made. I have uh, one quart and I will add the rest in water. Okay, there's the chicken stock and there's the water. Okay, 
Okay, we're going to scrape up everything that was at the bottom, all those bits. That has a lot of flavor. Don't ignore that. That's some good stuff there. Now, at this point, the chicken is already cooked. You can taste the broth to make sure you don't need any more salt or pepper. Adjust it the way you and your family like it. So I'm going to taste. Okay, we do need a little bit of salt. And that should be good. And we're going to bring this up to the boil and it's going to thicken up as it starts to cook. And then we will add the potatoes and the noodles. So I will be back. Alrighty, we're back. Now that the soup is just simmering, we are going to add in our potatoes. Our noodles are going to be last along with the cream. And this will thicken up. You want to just lower the temperature, but just keep it simmering. And we are going to add our parsley. We're going to bring this back up to the boil and we're going to let this cook for 10 minutes just to cook the potatoes a little bit and then we're going to add our noodles. Look at that, doesn't that just already look delicious? See it's not too thick and we still have to add the cream at the very end. We are back. Now we are going to add our noodles. This is just half of a bag of noodles. Like I said, you can double this recipe very easily. Now the noodles, we just cook according to the package directions, which is about 12 minutes. And then the final thing is adding the cream. And that's what makes it rich and creamy and comforting. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna bring this back up to a simmer and let it cook until the noodles are done. Okay guys, this has been simmering for about additional 10-12 minutes. It's ready. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to plate some up for us so we can give it a taste. Look at that. That looks delicious and it smells yummy. Okay everybody, the soup is done and it is delicious. Look at that creaminess. The noodles, it just smells delicious. Let's see if I can give it a taste without burning myself. Piece of chicken, some noodle. Mmm. 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 This is just so good. So comforting. It's just a, a great soup for a cold winter day. Have it with some crackers or a piece of French bread. Just delicious. Or just make a soup and sandwich on the side. I think the family will love it, guys. Okay, that's going to conclude the video for today. I sure hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the content, give us a thumbs up. And go check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget, share with family and friends. See y'all later. Bye.